guys, it's Queen Asia, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode 32 of Hirogato Sky. Pretty curious, let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> Gosh, it all looks okay. It was the other way around, guys. She right in front of you. Right in front of you. Is she giving you your answer? There you go. <laughs> and, and you know all four of them going to look at her like, Um, but you's a child. It is all, like, we got, I, I gotta say this, because, like, people kind of said this last night on Saturday, but I, I initially gotta say this. It, it, it's so weird that our 78th cure is a baby. Like, what? <laughs> it's crazy to think, and then once again, it's Kaguya. It's freaking, um, Paimon, uh, from Genjin. It's just so, once again, weird because you just never know, especially with these seiyus, like, who all is going to be cast in this and such. Like, seriously, this season, once again, has broke records. First blue cure, first male cure, and first baby cure, like, the, the baby baby. Now, I mean, like, yeah, we're talking about, like, Hachan and anyone else who's also been a baby before they've been a pretty year, but she, I'm guessing she's still going to kind of stay as a baby. She's not going to turn back into, like, you know, a teenage version of her, like, you know, Hagatan would cure tomorrow or something. I feel like still, regardless, she's still going to stay a baby. And then by the time the series ends, she'll permanently be a teenager or something. Or she'll grow up older. Who knows? Older? Mm hmm Which is her power to turn into a pretty care. Her spoon. That's so precious. <laughs> And they're not telling you to just instantly go ahead and prove it, but you know, yeah. No, oh my God. Hmm. 
So, gotta always be ready. Are we gonna see her today? Oh. Okay. All right. I gotta say it now. You know, um, <laughs> I don't know if y'all ever seen I cut through or just I cut through stars or I cut through friends. But the character that I'm thinking of from my cut through friends, she has like a fiery reddish hair type of color. I love it. She looks and she has it in a ponytail just like she did. So I'm getting like instant feels from that. Stop. She she baby did the cure summer. Cure Freshes and Cure Grace. Oh. <laughs> and it's funny how she did the poses for those three because they're going to be in the movie together. <laughs> All right. Uh oh. Uh oh, no, no. <laughs> mm hmm. How much lemon juice did you add, though? I love the fact that she's also doing their poses. It's so cute. Too sour. Oh my god, no! Mm -hmm. Inside of you.
Oh, I didn't think that was going to happen, but okay. Can we just talk about the fact that, like, in that moment, like, Elle really wants to fight, and the fact that, like, it's like, no, go hide. Like, and, and I get it, truly. Like, yes, protect baby, because baby, like, uh, but baby is like, I want to kick butt, too. Like, let me help. Let me save you guys. Like, because <laughs> she's so, so proud of herself. Um specifically because of last week because she was finally able to get a hit and she just wants to feel that emotion and that excitement all over again and it's ugh. i'm excited First, that's not gonna work. It's not gonna be that easy. Is he about to do what I think he... Oh, oh, yeah, basically, yeah. It makes sense. That's basically also a reference to that series, of course, as well.
They're both so tired. Brought her oh my god It's too much. I can't I'm fucking crying. I will say, like, the transformation is, like, super quick, but I love it, though. She looks so beautiful. That's all I hear. All I hear is fucking Kaguya! <laughs> They could have, like, gave her a power-up or something, and then... Come on, now! It's her episode, though! But I, I... It's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna let him have it. It's okay. Baby did the fighting. I, and I'm not mad at that. She did good.
Because we better give her a freaking moment where she is able to have a power up. I'm just saying, please and thank you. But it was good. I'm so happy about her. Yeah, it just takes so much out of her. Good job, baby. Maybe we should just have a training episode next week. <laughs> oh. Well. She's so pretty. She's so pretty, and I love her. Like, best girl. Oh, my God. Like, so freaking pretty. She's so gorgeous. Okay. You can already tell that the next episode is very going to be a, mo a, a focus. I cannot speak on Machido, especially with how she felt in that last little moment. But for Elle, I, I'm just, I'm happy for her. I normally say this with a lot of the seiyus who end up, like, joining the Pretty Cure family. It, it's like a, not only a rite of passage, but I feel like for some of these seiyus, especially, look at her, um... With some of the roles that I have seen them in before they've become, you know, into the Pretty Cure family. I cannot speak. They are welcome into the Pretty Cure family and such. And then they finally become a Pretty Cure. It's like um, a congratulations. Almost like, look how far you've come as a Seiyu. Especially if it's one of those who have been working. Maybe even their goal is to become a Pretty Cure and such. Because everyone all, uh, I think every Seiyu, including our lovely one little male, um, possibly all has had that dream to have a role where it's like, I feel like I've made it type. And I feel like everyone, including the ones who's like, they get their starts from this series and they go on even to bigger and better things and such. It, it's just good for them. It's really good PR for them. And I have to congratulate her because, like I said, first role that I've seen this girl, her say you in was Kaguya-sama. She is known as Kaguya-sama from Kaguya-sama Love is War. And how she can go from playing this, like, not real, well, she's kind of, she's not a yandere. She's more of a cinderay character um, in Kaguya. But... If you've seen if you've seen the show, you get a, a very like vast of range of her as Kaguya Sama. You get to see her in so many different lights. And especially like when <laughs> I like to say baby Kaguya comes in. Um I, I never would have thought that eventually we would have had a whole year with her in this show of her playing a kid character and such. And so I really have to give her a damn good job on that. Especially with the fact is, you know, I think a, what, a couple, a, a year prior, she was playing Komi-san. And Komi-san is, is, you know, a character who's very quiet and does like these little antics and stuff where she's like trembling and she has to convey that into words. And the fact that she can do that all with the power of her mouth, like it's still crazy as hell. But like, I think, mm, God, where would I put her transformation? Oh my God. That's hard. Uh, that's hard. That's hard. That's hard. That's hard. That's hard. I mean, I'm not going to be biased because I'll, I'll say this. Like, purple is not my favorite color. I will tell you that. Purple is like my my second, third, favorite, fifth, sixth, whatever, fave color. Pink is my favorite color and such. But, I mean, the range of looking at, like, majority of my favorite cures are freaking purple and such because I can relate to a lot of them and then there are some that are 
you know, yellows or blues or pinks or just like whatever and you can relate all to them because like when you look at the pinks and you're looking at the one the pinks who are like always a quote unquote the main characters and such, um, you feel like with the with them, you can't always relate to them. And so looking at, you know, the ones from the past and seeing how with majority, either half of all of them, I can still relate to up until this day, it's still still nuts. But for a baby, like, it's still the fangirl over my baby. Like, I'm so happy for her, truly. And it just, it also makes me excited for the next season of Kaguya-sama because I feel like anything that she's learned from recording in this show, she's going to, of course, take the initiative and she's going to bring that into the next season of Kaguya-sama. Do not be surprised if I go into Kaguya-sama Love is War, um, I think season four, and I end up calling her L and stuff because I know someone's going to be like, Deja, who the freak is L, John? And then I'm like, well, if you haven't seen this, da, 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 she's also in this. But really, 10 out of 10, damn good episode, damn good transformation. Like, just the aesthetic, once again, hit, the colors hit, how vibrant it was, how pretty it was, the, just the transformation of going from baby to teenager especially look, also looking at tropical rouge with going from mermaid to human i, I really love how they're doing that i mean i don't i don't think i said it with like freaking tropical rouge but like with laura's i always got feels towards mermaid melody now with l's honestly right now i'm just it kind of just gives me like or sailor you know um freaking uh chibiusa uh, Mini Moon vibes, especially because of the fact is, you know, how she changes. Or, like, witch vibes. Or even Winx Club vibes, because she is, you know, always going to be a baby, as I said in the beginning of the episode. Which, honestly, I'm not mad at. I do like the fact that we're getting, you know, still a moment where she gets to be older, but then at the same time, we still get to have Precious Baby merch. Because, you know, that's what you want at the end of the day. Precious baby merch. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 32 of Hidogato Sky Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos if you want to join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all either on Saturday or next Sunday for episode 33. Bye, guys.